A woman in Voorhees needs your help finding a good Samaritan who helped her in a pinch. South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner explains how a man in uniform gave hope to both a working mother of three and of the Voorhees community. As a cashier at this Voorhees Aldi, scan the items in Maureen O'Connor's cart one by one. Each ring added to her anxiety. I was thinking, oh my gosh, how did I, how did I goof this up? Because I was mentally calculating as I went along, but I have three younger children and I'm, I'm also watching them too. She watched as the cashier display climbed to $60. She only had $30 to spend. The kindly cashier and the manager helped void out one by one. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's try this. She took this photo of her cart. This was all she could buy on $30. It left her sticker shocked. How are we all supposed to get through this? How are we supposed to get by? But outside the store, a different shock. When a man, she's not sure if it was a police officer or security guard, tapped her on the shoulder. And I said, oh, hi, let me get out of your way, thinking the guy was parked, this cop was parked next to me. I turned around and the man said, no, you're not in my way at all. This is for you. And he handed me a big bag. It contained all her voided groceries, which he bought for her. Completely in shock. And I said, Thank you. I said, I really don't know what to say. And he said, he said, just take care of those kids of yours. She didn't get his name or where he worked, so she posted what happened to Facebook to find the man. What she found was a community coming together. People were crying on the post because they said, I'm in the same boat and I worry about this every day and I'm right there with you. Besides thanking the mystery man again, she hopes to buy him coffee or lunch and let him know the impact he made. This man is the town hero <laughs> and he has spread so much joy to all, all of these people and reunited and connected all of these people through his one simple, generous act of kindness. Kindness, she hopes, will spread throughout Voorhees. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.